me up here. This little sign for you. Here you go. My name is Bridget. Okay. Hi. Uh, good morning. Good, good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Oh. Buongiorno. 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 So, hello. Welcome, all of you, the Italian delegation. Could you please introduce yourselves, starting from this side? Hello, I'm Maria Senni. I'm the assistant head of the delegation. Ciao. Good morning, Nicola Galigiari, uh, head of delegation. Hi, I'm. Uh, okay. <laughs> I am Francesca Marfetti, head of press. Here on the assistant head of press. So Francesca, your rehearsal. Tell us. Yeah. How did you feel? Uh, I feel very excited. Uh, tonight I didn't sleep <laughs> because I was very nervous because every every time that I go on stage I want to do my best. I want to do the 100 percent and so I was very nervous, but I'm very happy of this first rehearsal. And tomorrow I try to do better. Better. What is it that you like to tweak, to, to change a bit, to improve? Yeah, I think we will do better on stage and on final too. We have to change some things, some stuff, but I think we'll be very, very satisfied. Mm. How about your delegation? Would you like to comment on the rehearsal today? Yeah. We were a little nervous, but we did, as always, Francesca does, the best on stage. Anything you'd like to, to add, to, to, to change, to, the, uh, to make it even better? Oh, no, I think, I, I think we're very satisfied uh, so far. I mean, I've, I've been doing this for five years, and it's an extremely well uh, first rehearsal, so we're very proud and we would like also to thank our creative director Nicolini yeah. sitting there who made this possible. So we we want to we want to give good vibes, good emotion, and I think this this is what Francesca wanted to communicate a message through this song. And I I'm confident we will we will do it. She will deliver marvelously. So Nicolini, how about the message in, in in your song? Tell us about it. What does it mean to you? Yeah, uh, well, the degree of separation is inspired by the theory, a social theory uh, about the 1929 theory of six degrees of separation of the small world that um, talks about we are all connected. And with this song I want to say that we are equal and we have to, to team up, we have to feel a community, we have to feel European, not just Italian, uh, French and German, we have to feel a community and that's why I'm at Eurovision this year to, to bring a positive message and on my stage will germinate a seed because um, we, uh, we have to, to feel seeds every day we can, we, can, we can do something beautiful with the other people we are all, um, sometimes I use this metaphor we are all, um, we're brothers and sisters because we have all the, uh, the same apples you know there, there's a tree and there's a lot of apples. The apples are different because some apples are green, some apples are red, some apples are more juicy. I don't know, but we are all, the, all apples. <laughs> and that's the message, we are all equal. And there is no degree of separation. We, are not, um, we have to um, build bridges and not walls in Europe. And with music, we can do it. So I think Eurovision is a beautiful contest to explain that and to sing that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. That's a very eloquent answer. And actually, you just, she just answered my standard question that I ask all the artists. What does this theme come together mean? You just answered it, so it's beautiful. Oh, okay. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, questions from the floor, please? Hands up, up front here, please. Microphone. Hi, ciao, Francesca. Ciao. It's Cristina Gentini from OJ Italy. Uh, when we met you in Sanremo, you told us you were even more enthusiastic about the Eurovision Song Contest than Sanremo itself. Yeah. And to tell the truth, I think uh, up to date you are the most enthusiastic Italian representative we've ever had. Oh, okay. What is so special about this contest? Yeah, because um, I think it's a beautiful experience. We can because we can meet together all the entries. We are all, uh, we are young to, uh, this year. There are a lot of young entries like me because I'm 21 years old, and it's beautiful to share to meet. Um, also in Amsterdam in London, um, I met the entries, some entries, and it was very beautiful to share um, music, advices, and enjoying ourselves. Um, 
playing cards <laughs> all together, stay together. Um, yeah, because um, I'm, I answered before when when I'm when you go to Eurovision, you f you really feel the Europe. You really feel it, and it's beautiful because yeah, we're all different, but in our diversity there is. A, I think that in our diversity there is the rich and there is a beautiful thing because sometimes you are scared of what you don't understand of what is different from you but I think it's beautiful when you meet all together and you share your diversity I think it's beautiful thank you and we have to be proud of it thank you thank you to you gentleman here and the burgundy shirt microphone to the side Ciao Francesca, Ciao. Oh. sono <laughs> Jakub Kastrzyk from uh, Eurovisia.org. I have one question. Uh, you toured all around Europe. You were in uh, Amsterdam yeah. and in London. Do you think that uh, such promotional concerts and uh, meeting with fans uh, help the artist to uh, be more confident on stage? Of course, of course. Because I'm a little bit shy when I'm on stage, so <clears throat> with the Eurovision party and Eurovision concert in London and Amsterdam, it was great for me an opportunity to feel more, more, more confident. To break the ice. To break the ice, we say in Italy. Uh, yeah, I think in all the world. <laughs> yeah, and it was very nice. And also to to meet the fans, the Euro fans. Yeah, it was very, very good. A very good opportunity. And I said because I I couldn't go to the other meeting because I'm I, I can't I can't buy. But I'm very happy to to went to to London and to Amsterdam, of course. Question up front here and the uh, red shirt and blue jacket. Here you go. Ciao, Francesca. Ciao. Christian Scarpone for Euro Festival News. So my question is: We saw many props on the stage, like the parrot, the balloon, mm -hmm. uh, the duck, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, your creative director Nicoline said to us in an interview that they are very important uh, yeah. for you because they explain uh, a part of your life. Mm -hmm. So tell us something about the props. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, some props will change, but um, uh, mostly that there are balloons, there are diamonds, there are eyes. There are butterflies. There are um, the symbols of all my project, um, of my music project. Since La More Resiste, that I performed in London, my first single of my new album, Diventare, has got um, in in the video the, a lot of diamonds. The I don't know what, you, what I mean, okay? And um, all of the singles of the album, I've got some symbols, typical symbols, for example, Battito di Ciglia has got the eye, and so all the elements are in the video of Nessun Grado di Separazione, or Degree of Separation, and also on my stage, because regards with the song. Thank you. Up front here, please. Hi, Alistair Birch from SBS Radio in Australia. Wow, I, I'd like but your accent for me is more difficult than... <laughs> uh, I, was, I, 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 was, I was born in England, so um, okay. I'm, I'm a, a late arrival. But um, I'd like you to cast back to your mind to when you first heard Adele's first album. Yeah. And what was your reaction to that particular album? Yeah, but there's a music and I don't understand everything. But, well, because I don't know, because there are English words from the music. <laughs> what was your first reaction when you heard Adele's album? Ah, yeah, oh Her my first album. album. The 19. Yeah, of course. Well, it's a very beautiful question, thank you. Because Ada changed my life completely. I was, um, I was in the middle school, I uh, was perhaps 11 or 12 years old, and when I listened to her for the first time, I decided to be a singer because <laughs> when I was a child, all the uh, the singer uh, um, has got a a voice, a, a very high voice. For example, Celine Dion or I don't know Mariah Carey. And when I I, I always thought, oh my God, I can I cannot do this. I can't because I'm I can't. Yeah, uh, it's not my type of voice. And so when I when I listened to it for the first time, I I I, I believed in myself for the first time, and I start to a piano lesson, and then bass guitar lesson, and I start to to write my songs in English and Italian too, because um, she was a very great inspiration for me. And the first time that I had um, a concert in my hometown, 
um, I was 14 years old and uh, uh, in a theater of my hometown. And the first uh, uh, first uh, song that I ever sang was Hamtown Glory. Mm. And so, uh, yeah, I'm very, um, yeah, she she's amazing for me, of course. Thank you. You promised us to give us, us backstage before to give us a little bit of a taste on stage here. Would you please sing a little bit for okay. us? Okay. Uh -huh. Now since the background noise is over, please. Mm -hmm. In Italian or in English? Okay, I, I know, I know. <laughs> Would you like to stand up? Ah, okay. I think that's easier, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nessun grado di separazione, nessun tipo di esitazione, non c'è più nessuna divisione fra di noi. Siamo una sola direzione in questo universo che si muove. Beautiful. Thank you. Uh, let's see a question from the gentleman in the pink shirt. Hi, it's Edward Montebello, son of the Malta. Ciao, oh, Francesca. Oh, wow, beautiful. Ciao. <laughs> I'm representing uh, Mortis Television and ESCExtra.com. Basically, we love your setting on stage. Mm -hmm. um, what was your reaction when the director told you you're going to have this garden setting where you um, involved in the creation of the yeah, of song course. presentation from the initial steps? Yeah, but we decided together with Nicolin and thanks Maybe you'd Nicolin. like to stand up. This yeah, is the thanks, Nicolin. director. Yeah. Um, well, we decided together, uh, and it's a very honor for me to work with Nicolin because he's a, he's a, she's a boss. Okay. <laughs> well, um, yeah, because um, it's because of the sea that is the message of my song, and the tree is the symbol of the song because I, I told you before, for me, it's the symbol of of certain sense of Europe of the a community because we are all, all all fruits of the same tree. We are different, but we are all the fruit or fruits of the same tree. This is the message, and I love um, natural things on on stage because yeah, I'm when I have to write a song, I go to my the hills. Uh, behind my home, I go to the woods. So I'm very happy to be in Sweden because there's a lot of woods. And there is a bear, bears too. There are bears too. And where I live, no, there's a lot of go. Yeah, well, there's a lot of bears too <laughs> where, I, where I live. Yeah, but uh, okay. And that's why it's simple. Are you going no, to keep the parrot? I don't know. Uh, now we're we're um, we're discussing about it, but there there will be a lot of uh, symbols of my album, of course. Maybe more diamonds, uh, maloons. But now we are deciding because yeah, that's why we are still at four. Yeah, and tomorrow we'll we'll try and, and another thing. Okay, thank you. Up front here, please. Hi, this is uh, Martijn van der Veen, Eurovision artist in the Netherlands. Hi, nice you released a small, a mini album in uh, January. Yeah. And my question is, when can you, uh, when can we expect a full album from you, a new one? Uh, what, are you talking about "Nice to Meet You" or something yeah. else? Yeah. Yeah, because my my first uh, tour ever. Name was nice to meet you because it was my first tour. So hi, I'm Francesca. Nice to meet you. And we made just a digital only a digital EP for iTunes only because it was a little bit of experiment. And then um, after Sanremo came out my my second album uh, Diventare, and now I'm working on the third. But relax, I'm revision. Okay. <laughs> And yeah, um, it would be great to make um, a full album of the concert live uh, and a physical too. Uh, the nice to meet you because it was a very good experience, I think. Um, and I um, and after Sanremo, of course, I also made an acoustic version of Not the Real Separation. So I think it could be great to listen to it. So you'll keep us posted, huh? Uh huh. One final question over here, please. Buongiorno Francesca. Buongiorno. This is Fernando Mendes with Radio International. 
uh, I live in Brussels and I have many Italian friends who tell me that the Eurovision Song Contest does not have a strong impact in Italy and that was already long before mm. the contest, the Italy withdrew. But Italy has sent big names to the contest, Albano, Romina, Enrique yeah. Poveri, yeah. you know, Giulio Le Cinquetti, so uh, yeah, of course. why do you think that the contest doesn't uh, catch up with the Italian audience and what can you what could be done to revert this? Mm, well we're working on I think in Italy because in, yeah the last uh, before Rafael Balazzi six years ago the last entry was in 1995 90 sorry 1997 yeah not 1995 is where I born yeah and 1997 of course Janis and so yeah it's, it's, I think it's normal, oh, I think it's normal because, uh, yeah, after Janice, nobody talks ever, talk, talk ever of Eurovision, so when Rafael uh, came to Eurovision, he did a sort of mission because it was the, the first time after a lot of years, and so now, uh, years by years, it's um, growing the atten attention to Eurovision, more viewers, and this year, for the first time, uh, Eurovision will go on Rai Uno. That is the main channel Ooh. we have in Italy, and it's a great thing. And I'm very lucky. <laughs> and so, year by year, we're growing up. Um, I think it's it's important uh, because yeah, Italy um, is in the big five, so it's important that every Italian, uh, because I think for an Italian, is um, is important thing to. To, to see all, all the entries, to, to feel the Eurovision, uh, Eurovision spirit, of course. Oh, thank, thank you very much. Francesca, I'd like you to end uh, talking to your fans, because this, be, this is taped and being, it's going to be showed on Eurovision.tv. Yeah. So you can actually address all your fans right now and to that camera. So what would you like to say? Cosa <laughs> diciamo? Okay. Hi, I'm Francesca Michelin. I'm the Italian entry. If you wanna, um, if you wanna give 12 points to Italy, I'd be happy. But if you wanna go, uh, if you wanna um, uh, give your 12 points to another country, I would be happy anyway because this is Eurovision spirit. Bye. Thank you so much, Francesca. And let's now move over to the photo wall for some.